Skate Shop Day. Is it? Is that what it's called? Skate Shop Day? <laughs> it's one of those places, you know? It was like the perfect little setup for a backyard. It was perfect. To be honest, it's like, it was more perfect than a lot of skate parks I go to nowadays. Like, and then once the Hubbas came, that was the best spot for sure, especially with the addition of the Hubbas. Oh my God. Like, I feel like going there, that was like the first time that people like seen me skate and it like piqued their interest. Like, who is this dude? Yeah, Donnie's was pretty close to my mom's house. Not that close, but it was close enough. Well, once I figured out which house it was, like, you know, going there a couple of times, I like hop over and peek my head over like, Hey, what's up, Cascade? He was like, yeah, come on, man. You know, but so then I wake up pretty early, so it just became a routine, you know what I'm saying? Like, every day. It was cool, though, man. I do remember Donnie saying that I can come there whenever I wanted. So I was like, okay. So I started going there, like, 8 in the morning, I'm there. Like, because I got to be at school, like, at 10 or something. 8 o'clock, I'm there. I'd skate there. I'd take the back way because I was, like, the smoothest part of the ground. Cause I went to uh, Options for Youth right there by pharmacy. It was like, it was cool because like, you know, you can learn something on the little ledge right there or like the little box over there and then maybe take it right there to the hubba, you know, depending on what it was, you know what I'm saying? Like that spot was A1, man, you know? It's cool that they finna do this uh, replica contest too. I don't know, I love that hubba though. It was, it was amazing. Brian went there, well, Brian went there. <laughs> Brian lived there. I remember when he was skating there one night, did a bunch of tricks. I remember seeing Braden do a trick there too, like kick for back swings or something. Oh, yeah. I think I was there that night. Spanky did 270 lip or something. Yeah, I've seen so much shit go down on that hubba, you know? I wouldn't have like ever tried Nolly Hill back Suski unless Beagle said something. I did hill flip Suski on it. And then Beagle's like, try Nolly Hill Suski. Twan, it's just. And then I tried a couple and I started to get into it. I'm like, uh oh. And the next thing you know, I rolled away from one. I'm like, what? <laughs> There's things that I've done on there that I've never done on anything else though. <laughs> That's for sure. But I was just so used to that place, you know? Like, you motherfuckers couldn't tell me nothing at that spot, you know? Like, I was there every day. It really helped a lot, too, you know? I feel like that's kind of what happened, you know what I'm saying? Like, Beagle and all them came up there to skate, Andrew and all them, you know, I'm skating, just rolling around, boom, boom, skating the hub of this, 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 and then just sat down. They're probably like, who the fuck is this kid, you know? So that spot was a good spot, also opened up a lot of opportunity. I mean, like the first time, like I really like met Brian was there. Like I walked in with them and then I see Brian like barbecue and I'm like, holy shit, I'm like, bro, that's Brian Herman. Like, you know, cause I never really like met him like that before, you know? And I was like, damn, like, you know, cause he's like one of my favorite skaters, you know? So it was dope to see him. Right, so I'm skating to Hubba and um, oh, I landed like a Nolly Hill nose or something, right? Nolly Hill nose. Boom. And I went up and ran up the stairs and then did no sight, Nolly Hill out. And then back to back, I feel like that was the first time I met Ellington too. Because he came up and shook my hand like, damn, I was sick. Because I did that and then just walked into the house. Like I said, like that place, like really kind of got me noticed by certain folks, you know. Me meeting Beagle and then I seen him at another pharmacy party and I gave him a video and then they showed that video to Andrew, and then they're probably like, oh, I remember this dude from blah, blah, blah. And then that's how it happened. We went to ASR. We're at the Blitz booth. Next thing you know, I hear Antoine, and I look over, and it's Andrew and Eric, and I'm like, yeah. And then they're like, can we talk to you real quick? I'm like, okay. And I walk in, and I look back at the homies like, what the fuck's going on? And then, you know, so I feel like all that combination of events, you know, led to them, like, knowing who I was, you know what I mean? Which was dope, you know? It's crazy, you know? And it's like when you look back at it, you're like, damn, God works in mysterious ways, you know? No problem. Wait, 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 that was a crazy handshake. 
for sure. Appreciate you. Yeah, easy.